Hi, I'm Paul from Bubble Fruit. Today we're going to talk about creating a simple logo in GIMP. We're going to use uh, GIMP 2.8 and basically what we're going to try and show here uh, is GIMP which is a, an open source piece of software which basically means uh, it's constantly being developed by um, various parties, um, includes many plugins and it's free. Um, it's it's a good rival to Photoshop. I find Photoshop easier to use. Um, that's maybe because I use Photoshop more than GIMP. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a simple logo just like we did in one of our tutorials for Photoshop. Um, we're going to create something very similar. Right, let's get ahead. First of all, we've opened GIMP here as you can see. We go to File, New, and we create our template size. So we're going to go for 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Okay. Now GIMP's very good with some of its tools and not so good with the others. So it's not exactly the same as Photoshop but yeah, we can do the similar things. Right, we're going to create a ball with our, our logo in the middle of the ball. Um, so we get the ellipse tool, we create our circle can position it here. Uh, we're going to use the gradient tool here to colour our circle. So we click the first layer of our gradient, which we're going to have as red. The second layer of our gradient, which is going to be black. And with the gradient tool we drag it across the shape and we end up with this shaded area here. Now we're going to create a reflective circle here to give the impression of light just hitting the ball here, creating the shadow effect here. Um, in Photoshop, basically, we create another ellipse tool and we use a, uh, a lens blur tool. Um, it, it's, it's easier in GIMP, to be honest with you, and more effective to use the spray tool. So we use the spray tool, we pick a colour, and we want white as the reflective colour. Um, now we need to choose uh, one of these faded options here for the spray <clears throat> so we get a, a, a more of a solid center and a faded out exterior. Now that's a bit small so on here we just need to um, just increase the size of the, uh, of the circle we're going to create with that reflective look. So we just spray that in there. You know, you can play with this and and get a maybe more realistic uh, reflection. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to play around with that too much. Right. Okay. So we we've got our ball. We've got um, a shaded look to it. We've got a reflective edge, and we want to put um, some text across the middle. Uh, we get our text tool. Now the text tool in GIMP is, is is a good tool if you're using text on its own. But using text with images, it tends to uh, not not so forgiving. So create get the text tool. Um, we pick a color. In this case, we're going to use white. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to put we're going to put the we're going to put the number eight inside this ball. So um, we we bring the text tool in, into the into the image, put number eight. Um, now we're going to just highlight that and bring the size up a bit. Okay, that will do. We're going to use this bold option, and we're going to center the text. Uh, at the moment, it's on justify. We're going to center the text. There's a good reason for that um, because. Uh, basically what happens is when we center the text as you can see here and let's just drop it down the level as well it brings the the text away from the edges and when you're uh, reshaping or manipulating that text if it's too close to the edge it tends to uh, disappear and you get cut off edges on your text so it's good just to try and centralize it a bit there Okay, we use this tool here which allows us to move our image around. So we're going to just centralize it there. Uh, we're going to put a shadow effect on this. Now, 
If you're just using text alone, there is an option up here <coughs> which allows you light and shadow um, to create a drop shadow. The only problem is when you're using um, text and graphics, if we were to use the drop shadow here, what it tends to do is to put the drop shadow around the edge of the image instead of the text. So I'm just going to undo that drop shadow. Um, so the best thing to do here is to um, create a, a new layer. So we, if we click on the, the text layer here that we just created and we right click and uh, we duplicate that layer we end up with two eights. So we're going to use the, the, the eight that's sitting just below the, the white one which is the other layer which is this one here and we are going to uh, we're gonna we're gonna fill it just just as quick to fill it. So we're gonna create get a color to fill it with solid color, and we fill. Both. Now, if we drag that behind, we end up with effectively a drop shadow. So, if we select our top layer again and just just centralize that back off, then click on the black layer below and if we move our drop shadow here we can see obviously the lights coming from this area creating a shadow down towards the bottom of the ball there and basically that's it very very similar to Photoshop um, it takes a, a little bit of getting around it uh, but there's some, some good tools in there there's some very good plugins and it's totally free I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you want any more information, just go to our blog at bubblefruit.com. I'm Paul. Thanks for listening.